Alright. So today I'm going to make Bien Bien noodles, which I've been wanting to make for a while, but I have not had... Now, I've been kind of scared to make them, so I'm a little intimidated by it, even though it looks simple. Everybody does it in about five minutes, and have a beautiful meal, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to turn out. Anyway, so we're going to try it today. So this is the dough, and this is a 50% hydration dough. It is literally 200 grams of flour to 100 grams of water uh, by weight, which is not usual, but um, it's interesting. That's the recipe. You just mix these up, bring these in. We're going to score, and this noodle is called Biang Biang, because you stretch. Make a Biang Biang, and then you tear, and then there's your noodles. You drop that into the water. My first time making this. So, I'm going to make these mistakes here. What this does, it scores it and makes a weak point. So then as you stretch, it becomes this, the, the tearing point where it's the thinnest of all. You can actually see your fingers through that little hole. So, slap this down. Okay. Move it across. So far, it looks pretty good. Should be pretty if nothing else. 
First you feed the eyes. Heads up, there's smoke in the kitchen. The alarm may sound. It's going to be loud. Emergency. Smoke alarm silenced in the kitchen. Sorry. It's all right. It, it happens really easily. Uh, do you guys want noodles? Um, oh, a little bit. I'll open this up in some time. I make no promises, it's the first time I made this. Spice. This looks really good. Like I said, <laughs> it looks good. Whether it is, we don't know yet. And sprinkle. Oh, okay, the there's and sesame seeds. We have sesame yeah. seeds. Yes. We do have sesame seeds. Actually, I'm kind of proud of how many ingredients we have. You know what? A good stuffed pantry yeah. will do you so much better. You could have all the stuff in the world, but good pantry you can have like just flour and you can have a full meal. Yeah, yeah. but we yeah. got pretty good with the spices. Alright, take those up. Okay, thank you. And this, like I said, this is soy. It's a little bit of soy sauce. Uh-huh. And it should be good. Sorry. All right. The mad dash is over. This thing's filming and it hasn't all gone to waste.
Not bad. Could use a little bit more soy sauce. Which I can fix real quick. So this one's uh, takes a little bit more sauce to cover. Pretty good though. And now that I've known it, or know that it's so quick, it's something I can throw together. I mean, that's the dough literally took five minutes. Let it sit for an hour. Roll it again. Comes out nice and smooth. Let it sit for another hour. You can be doing other things. It's perfect. I'd probably do the wider noodle instead of doing the, uh, the split tear. Just because I like a really wide noodle. You can't roll them out and cut them out wide, but I don't want to do that. Next time I'm going to try knife cut noodles. And I bought a, uh, a noodle knife. It took me a month to figure out what the hell they were called. So the most interesting thing is 200 grams of flour to 100 grams of water and that's that ratio by weight instead of volume uh, that's interesting and that ratio is the same for this noodle uh, the Korean mandu um, wrappers it's dumpling wrappers um, wonton wrappers and a couple other it, it's basically the same ratio uh, there's there's a, a type of noodle where they would boil water, and so they would divide the water between boiling and cold. And I, I haven't tried that one yet. It's on my list. I have lists. Lots of stuff I want to try. But I'd say this is Aces. That's pretty good. Uh, the soy crumbles, you can make those whatever you want. Uh, but the star here is the noodle. And a neutral oil works well. Asta. Yeah. 